today we are at Mall of America, which is the number one tourist attraction in Minnesota. Yeah, that's kind of why we're here. It's not usually what we do on this channel, but malls are kind of nostalgic for us Gen Xers, so we wanted to see what was going on in the mall these days. As you can tell, it's kind of close to the airport, so we're going to go in and see what it's all about. We entered through a pretty normal mall entrance, but it became clear pretty quickly that this was no ordinary mall as we emerged into the Nickelodeon universe. Located at the center of everything, this amusement park advertises 27 theme park rides and has enough trees, gardens, and natural lighting to make you think you're outside for just a minute. is the biggest mall in the U.S. What really sets it apart probably isn't the size as much as it is all of the other activities that are here to do. Yeah, it's basically a mall wrapped around an indoor theme park. And there's a movie theater, of course. And there's also a go-kart track, Mini skate golf. room. Yeah, there's, there's no way we can list everything. But there's definitely something for everybody. There's stuff for kids and there's stuff for adults. The theme park is set up, you can either buy an individual ride, just like ride one roller coaster, or you can buy an all-day pass and get unlimited rides on all the rides. So it kind of works for whatever you're looking for. Definitely a lot here. Yeah. Keep exploring. Mall of America is the largest retail shopping mall in the U.S. with over 500 stores, 50 restaurants, and 2.5 million square feet of retail space. But that is only the beginning. This mall gets more annual visitors than Disney's Magic Kingdom, so I imagine it can get pretty crazy. But we visited in May on a Tuesday, and it was actually pretty chill. The Sea Life Aquarium is the world's largest underground aquarium, and with 1.3 million gallons, it's Minnesota's biggest as well. You can see sharks up close in the 300 foot long ocean tunnel, and there are sea turtles, seahorses, jellyfish, and stingrays. Lest you think it's all fun for kids, there's plenty for adults as well. The fair on 4th, named because it's on the 4th floor, has fair food like corn dogs and fried cheese curds and games geared for adults, including a quarter mile go-kart track, axe throwing, and a vintage arcade. A movie theater is all but required at a mall, and Mall of America is no exception. There are even heated reclining seats in this one. I know growing up when I went to the mall, Sbarro's was kind of like a standard lunch. Not something I've probably gotten since then, but I had to do it while I was here. like the 80s. At some point on your visit, you're going to need some food, and there's no shortage of options here. In addition to the traditional mall food court, there are sit-down restaurants, fast food, and plenty of more exotic snacks. We settled on the sugar factory for what they call an insane milkshake. Up here. 
really know where to start with this. Of course there are stores, it's a mall, and there are all the standard stores you'd expect to find in any mall in the US, but there are also some more unique options you only find in the bigger cities, like the Lego store with a hands-on chance to build, buy Legos by the pound for those hard to find shapes and colors, and there are also some truly impressive Lego creations on display. There's the M&M store where you can mix and match flavors and colors from the wall of chocolate to get just the right mix for your sweet tooth. And there's the Crayola experience, which is part paid activity and part store. The experience itself has lots of hands-on activities for kids where they even get to name and wrap their own crayon. But even without the crayon creating experience, the store offers the unique opportunity to pick out your own custom set of Crayola markers with only your favorite colors. And who doesn't want that? We did a lot of looking around and a little shopping, and as usual, ended up spending our money on food. At the end of the day, we still had a little more time and energy, although admittedly, not much, and we decided to finish off with a round of mini golf. Daryl even won the hole in one free game on the last hole to wrap up our visit. our time in Mall of America. We bought a few things, we did a few things, and we had a good time. We did have fun. It was not like the malls we grew up with. It's a lot more elaborate and of course things have changed. I've noticed mostly the arcade has changed a lot, but now I'm looking forward to getting outside in Minnesota and seeing what it has to offer.